Welcome to Operating Customized Quote and Order Confirmation Forms for Sage Business Vision 2011. After upgrading Sage Business Vision to a new version, because of the database structure changes, some of the customized forms will need to be upgraded to work with the new version. You can find the instruction in BV 2011 Customized Forms PDF and the file can be located on your C drive under Business Vision folder. The general procedure to operate a form is called Verify Database. Forms can be modified using the Report Designer. Here are the forms that will require modifications to work with Sage Business Vision 2011. Account Receivable Statements, Quotes, Order Confirmations, Invoices, POS Tickets, Purchase Orders, Order Details, and Purchase Order Details. This video will show you how to operate customized quotes and order confirmations forms. I'm going to use the ABC Electronic Components for my demonstration. First of all, we need to make backup copies of the forms. To locate what form you are using and where it is, you go to File on the menu, Printer Setup, Print Properties, Select Quotes, Select Main Form. The form name will tell you what form you are using and where the form is. In this case, I'm using the customized quote, planpaper.rpt, and the form is located on the C drive in Business Vision Custom Reports folder. For the order confirmation, you can select order confirmation, select main form, and I'm using the customized order confirmation dot rpt, and the same is in C drive, business vision, and custom reports folder. To make a backup copy of the forms, you can do a simple copy and paste of the forms to a different location. I already have the backup copy of the forms, so I'm ready for my next step. The next step is to install the DDF files. Sage Business Vision recognizes the tables and the fields using DDF files. DDF stands for Data Definition Files. To install, you open the installation files for Business Vision 2011. Click Launch you will see the full menu. Select the last option to install DDF. Click Next. The default location will be C, Business Vision, Reports, Report Designer. Click Next to continue and click Install. Once it's finished, Click Finish. If you open My Computer, go to C Drive, Business Vision, Reports, Report Designer. You will see some DDF file got installed in this folder. Next, I'm going to show you how to verify database for the forms. We will work on the order confirmation and the quote will be very similar. To open the form, you go to File on the menu, Printer Setup, Report Designer, click Open, select the form, click Open. To verify database, you right click on the blank area on the left, click Database, click Verify Database. You will get some prompts because of the table changes. Click OK for the prompts until you see the database is now up to date. Click OK. And you will wait until the save icon is available. Click Save. Beside the Verify Database, 
there are some extra steps that need to be done and the instruction will be in the BV 2011 customized forms.pdf you go to page number 4 you will see some extra step that have to be done for the vote and order confirmation the first step is to create the formula fields the name of the formula will be tax one amount so I'm going to go back to business vision right click on formula click new and enter the name tax one amount click use editor then you're going to copy the formula from the instruction right click copy go back to business vision and paste it here then you click save and close once you do that under the formula field you will have one new formula called tax one amount go to the end of the report and then you drag this field to any blank area under the footer so we have the field here tax one amount we are going to replace this field with the new field before replacing this we will copy the format of this field to the new field to do that you right click on the old field click format field there are five tabs on the top we just need to copy under common under fonts and number click common you see one button in red this is the suppression condition click on that and highlight everything right click copy we close this one and cancel to get out of that go to the new field format field click common and the same thing click on the X2 next to the suppress button and paste it here click save and close click OK to close we continue to do that with the next tab is font so right click on the own field go to format field click font the size is 8 so we go back go to the new field right click format go to font and change the size to 8 Kay. continue with the number tab right click on the old field format field and the number click customize you see four button in red we need to copy all four of them we will start with the one for the decimal separator click on X2 right click everything and copy close this one click cancel two times go to new field format field under the number tab click customize click X2 next to the decimal separator right click and paste save the changes and click OK two times next go back to that own field under customize we do for the symbol again we copy everything and close that go to the new field go to symbol and paste it save it and click OK two times the next one will be for the decimal and go to the new field 
copy that to the decimal save it and click OK two times the last one is for the routing we copy that and go to new field go to the routing and paste so once we finish this we are ready to use a new form we go to this field delete this field because we no lo longer need this field and then move the new field to that location and you save the form and your form is now ready to be used with Business Vision 2011 Thank you for attending the session If you have any questions please call our Customer Support Department at 800-215-5395